Hey Brick Maniacs, we're hanging out in the GHQ with Dan Siskin and George Hicks, who's made the trip up to uh, the GHQ here. As uh, some of you may know, George has designed a couple of models now here for Brick Mania as kind of part of our outside designer uh, reach out program. So we're going to check those out because he's never been to the GHQ before. And what would be cooler than seeing your Sea King chilling in the new releases case, right? It's a, it's a pretty awesome and humbling experience. <laughs> so, I mean, it looks cool sitting on the shelf at the house, but here in the store in a glass display case, Really Look even justice. cooler if it was up here front and center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an older release now. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I suppose this one is kind of the case that continually is really flipping over. It week does. By week. They start on top and, and work their way mm -hmm. down. So it's, it's been about it's been about four weeks now. <laughs> I've seen a couple uh, reviews on YouTube, and I can't remember who we did a live chat one night mm -hmm. on YouTube. It was pretty interesting. So I think uh, Jason Kamlick did one, and uh, it was interesting to get his take on it because he's built I don't know how many other people's designs and mm -hmm. plus has had his own creations so still pretty humbling to see it see it in the bricks well I in think we bricks. have another there's another batch coming so cool it is it is, it is scheduled yeah it's scheduled to be restocked the space race stuff kind of we don't know it's it was it's kind of an unknown for us and, and mm -hmm. we finally got everything went out it was popular well received so okay we're, we'll find a spot and schedule to make more because it is requested so so then I think moving down is where the, the C-Ram's down here, right next yes. to the, the C-Wiz. I saw that earlier when we came in. You see the guys from, uh, <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? Oh. Raytheon came and, and gave us some presents. So. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So one of the truck's designers, um, the seat, so that, that apparently they only made two of these. I wondered. And it was, was a concept that they were trying to pitch to the Army. Yeah. And so... That particular truck is, a, is there's only a, I think that's only one of a kind truck. They it's an electromagnetic truck, or it's a it's electric electric drive. That's interesting. So it has wow. a, it, it has a gigantic generator on it, diesel generator powers the truck and and the uh, the Sea Whiz. Sounds so he like came it. he came in and explained the whole thing, how unique the whole program was. And I had a heck of a time finding resource information, photographs. Mm -hmm. Right, and and, uh, the, and the reason why is because it was a one of a kind. That's so that it's it's. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 the story, stories he, he told us about it. So he gave us a big picture of it. So That's awesome. remind me when we get back to the warehouse, I can send you home with the, with, with the, with the specs of it. <laughs> yeah, so the, the guy, the gentleman that worked on it, he was explaining what every little box and greeble was. Like, you guys nailed it. That's awesome. That it, <laughs> they so, came in here. Yeah. So from the people who actually made that thing happen to, to, to recognize and talk about it, was yeah. coming here and give us a visit, that was, that was pretty cool. I agree. That's impressive. Well, it's something that unique. I'm sure they heard about it. You know, they're like, they made what? <laughs> <laughs> they put what in Lego? Like, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and Raytheon is just, they're, they're, they're crazy. They, they love this stuff. That yeah, really that, that, that right there is awesome in itself. So, what do you got? What's I up missed, there, yeah? I missed out on that. <laughs> <laughs> you stay there. <laughs> well, that, that's like half the, the coolness of the GHQ, obviously. Is oh, like it's the amazing. discontinued models and all that stuff and available for finally purchase. So if you if money was absolutely no object and you were just going <laughs> to take a run at this wall, what would absolutely have to have to join the collection? Definitely the AAV 7A1. Mm -hmm. I didn't get the VADs. Uh, the K52 Alligator has been on my radar. Mary's MLRS. And probably one of everything else that I don't <laughs> have. <laughs> So, There's a lot of stuff in this wall that you cannot get online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say I was looking down here, especially the AC-130 and the LCAC. Mm -hmm. I haven't it, justified those yet. Every store got one LCAC. Yeah. And uh, when we did the last batch, we're like, well, let's pad it. We don't want to, you know, I think we had just a few orders for it. So we're like, let's make a, a bigger batch to make it more worth it. There's your well. corporal. <laughs> we're not leaving without a couple of minifigs. Yeah, minifigs yeah. are half the deal. I mean, look at this. There's... There's like oh, four yeah. of those guys. Man, those sold out the, the web gets angry when we show them <laughs> pictures of that just chilling on the GHQ shelf. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Liberator's another one I'd like to have. There's a Thunder Chief. Yeah, the Thunder Chief. <laughs> I didn't get the Flanker. I'd like to have that. Blackbird, I've missed out on it a few times now. And the Swift Boat. Yeah, some of those are pretty dang select. I mean, the Blackbird is pretty much a once a year. Yeah. When we've got time and that many black uh, great pieces. <laughs> my, my buddy Nathan gives me crap all the time when I'm at his house. He'll pull his out and say, hey, look what I have. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do like that you guys are adding other stuff into here. So. A little bit at a time. It's, it's surprisingly hard to get some of the stuff. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> getting yeah. anything right now is real if, hard. If you're not, if you're not Target points. or Walmart, yeah. you're not going to be able to get it. 
Yeah, see, I know the size of Lego, but when you actually see some of these kits in person that I don't own, it's impressive. Like, I this guess. is almost all the World War One stuff we have in here. Almost. Historically accurate gray barrel on the actual <laughs> barrel. <laughs> yeah, the instruction books. I think I finally got all of those now. Uh, that's, that's, that takes an effort. Oh, yeah, I heavy. can imagine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know the digital instructions from people I've been talking to have been really popular. Yeah, good. So, and there's been a few that it, I've bought. Mm -hmm. Of course, I haven't put them together yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm going to get those now. I know they never expire, but yeah. I've had such a such kind of a laugh of some of the social media messages we've got. Like, we had a guy the other day who was messaging us about how it was going to cost him, like, 500 bucks to build the F-14 on BrickLink, and he thought that was ridiculous. And I was like, what are you messaging us for? Like, yeah. <laughs> how are we supposed to control the prices on BrickLink? Right. Like, that's yeah, how it is. I can't help that. If Buy anything, more. it provides you a little bit more insight as to what we deal with when we're initially picking up these these bricks for these builds. Oh, yeah. I, I have people <laughs> ask me all the time, how come their stuff costs so much? I'm like, oh, do I have to explain it to you one more time? Yeah. There's a nice Say, little FAQ section. they've got to track it down, they've got to design it, they've <laughs> got to test build it, package it. And, and buy somebody else's bricks. Yeah. <laughs> that's the hard part all over the dang place. When were you seeing the first time you saw the Missouri was? We had planned to see it, and uh, and then it was shortly thereafter, I think you guys announced it wasn't going on the road anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no! no and it might have been when you guys were getting ready to open the GHQ, maybe. Pretty close. Yeah, we, well, that we was the official plan. docking. Once, once yeah. GHQ opened, that we would permanently put this in. So, mm -hmm. and this was seen, a, it was actually up by the yeah. door more for a long time. I've seen a lot of pictures. Of people have posted it on social media, and I'm like, man, it just doesn't do it justice. I want to see it in person. And then, of course, I love the crating system as the display base. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, watching a team that knows what they're doing kind of disassemble and reassemble it too. Oh, like, not yeah. only does it make you appreciate the initial design work to get it to look like that, but just the way it comes together, it's like, holy smokes, you guys made a twenty-six foot battleship appear out of crates in like eight <laughs> minutes. <laughs> and the fact that you can stand on it—that's. You can stand that's on and make an island too. Yeah, I saw that the other day. That, that's impressive. without the deck on it, even. Yeah, which I think that's the that's the end destination, right? Is to get down to the making. Do we want to? Do we want to? Yeah, you kick up and keep rolling. All right, we're good. Let's do a walk through the. Oh, what you get? Uh, ATD. Probably locked. Oh, it's not locked. Nice. Which one? Uh, the Russian. The yeah, Ruski. The we're just walking through. Yeah, that's the only one that has. Oh, 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 <laughs> what's up? Oh, I'm friendly, I promise. I just talk funny. So they're, they're I need something. one of these at the house. Yeah, <laughs> that's they're cutting out stickers now. So anything that anything to vinyl, paper, stickers, books, everything it's done here. Awesome. So much uh, cooler than my cricket. Oh, oh it's right. the same same concept though. <laughs> <laughs> she was going for the distance there. Yeah. <laughs> I can, I'll carry you. Hi, sweet thing. You get a running leap off. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> you guys came to see me. That's books. Nice. Maybe it's Battle of the Bulge. If we hot off the presses. Hi. Yes, I remember you. <laughs> oh, I love that smell. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the studio. A little bear in here. Yeah. I was gonna bring a South Vietnam flag my uncle gave me, oh. and I completely oh. forgot. In the face it. of disappointment. This is definitely a lot bigger space. Oh yeah. <laughs> we needed a space that didn't have any outside windows. Oh, that one worked. So we, we could control Perfect. the light. We're still gonna block off those windows. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the this is the studio. Jump on up here. That old clock up there. So the Dehab one that's coming out next week on digital, di instructions. digital instructions. Yeah. That's another one of uh, Cody's. I wish I would have bought in kit form, and then I missed. Nick Kramer's mm -hmm. version. I just well, we, we, were at the, we were at the same event, and he, Nick was there. We were there. We're all taking pictures of the same plane, and they both came out about the same time. Uh, I, I kind of <laughs> missed that battle between those two, but yeah, that's that's awesome. You guys are bringing all these people together to do outside designs. Yeah, so. it's it's. It, sure. I never would have guessed in a million years I'd be doing it. And <laughs> it's awesome. I've had, a, I've had a lot of people ask me for my designs and instructions in the past, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. I don't want to turn this into a career. I really just enjoy building stuff for myself. Mm -hmm. But once the Sea King came out and I saw everybody's reaction to it and showing it on their Instagram and Facebook, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So maybe we'll keep doing this. Well, I suppose uh, probably design room next, huh? Yeah, that's sweet. It's the grill. 
Look, this is the quickest yeah, way to the parking lot, actually, at the front here. Hey, all right. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so this is this is the newly expanded warehouse. There used to be a giant wall Everything right from there. that doorway down mm -hmm. is just a digital screen. It doesn't really exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to run right at it like Wile E. Coyote. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is where all the parts sorting, etc., goes on, and then obviously we've made a, a big hole Sorry, here for. Yeah. <laughs> well, this this was a 3D. They, we just we bought a 3D model for like video games. We're like, yeah. we, it's like that looks pretty good. We'll buy it, and then we used it to make a texture map of the yeah. hole. And then this this is just a reference. I can, don't have to count. Heck yeah. So the Missouri was all eyeball, and then after doing the Missouri, like, you that mean we we can idea. computerize this? So that's how we got the texture. Like, yeah. Was able to get that shape just perfect. So this is. I'm just pulling pictures off the internet because I'm getting to the point where like, well, I'm going to have my hole finished soon. Now i got to figure out yeah. exactly where the openings are, figure out how that, the, because the, that thing preoccupied like a year of building. And this now that it's done, everything else is just going to happen. Yeah, really that's going to be fun. That's going to be nuts. That, well, yeah, that's easy stuff. It's square. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to look cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's, ah, damn. That now, thing's big. <laughs> now, it's, now I'm buying the parts. That's the... That's the biggest push. So, so it'll, it'll. I got. I've got about four weeks to get this thing done. Yeah. <laughs> Crunch time. Yeah. You guys made some serious progress last night. Yeah, those, those tiles. tiles though. Those tiles turned out oh, awesome. Yeah. Then we ran out. It's going to be twice. The well deck will be twice as long. Mm -hmm. Well, even just seeing those like those single brick connections leading off the back like that, oh, that looks really cool. This thing's going to be and awesome. And I just realized it's still not long enough. It's going to have to be even. <laughs> This is just to give me an idea. Yeah. I just stuck those on there just to figure out how big it actually was going to be. A Things work in progress. I think the most satisfying look of it right now is just how like heavy this taper is in the front. Yeah, but I just, I love the way that looks. And then the the tapering as it, it is heads so back heavy. to the, the well. Oh man, I know. How many studs across is this? My, I don't know, I didn't count. My, uh, the reason I didn't count is because this, this was actually about 13 studs yeah. wider. Because I didn't realize that there was a flare at the bow. Yeah. So I was looking at the bow and going, oh, this is how wide it's going to be. So I built the, these two sections. And I had to rip one of them apart and make it smaller. My USS X6 flight deck might just barely cover that. <laughs> Did you make it to scale? Ah, uh, so not really. Isn't it on the it's surface just, of your work table? It's just uh, 248 stud base plates okay. wide yeah, it's like bigger, bigger than six that. long. So. It basically just to fit a convention table. Yeah, yeah. So just something I could display my uh, marine helicopters on, a couple aircraft. And it's, yeah, right now it's sitting on my workbench covered up. So hmm. all the, the missing parts is that's where stuff's gonna get stuck yeah. onto. So that's just incredible shaping. Even with this much done, it's still hard to visualize the oh. scale. You <laughs> know? I can't wait to see the superstructure right. on it. Right. The superstructure is easy. It's a it's a rectangle. Yeah. There's no windows. But, but when <laughs> when you get to see it on the on the deck and actually rising up, like we get an idea of how tall this thing is yeah. going to be at its highest point. That's oh the, my gosh. The one thing I didn't go with was the superstructure. I'm like, yeah, I don't need that. Yeah. Well, it's I'm more nervous about all the crap hung off the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and then getting it getting it to the location without it getting all torn off. That's going to be interesting. So I wish I had the room to do something like that. Well, they were rolled up. I mean, that one's been out. I actually built it on top of this. This is the yeah. top-down view. So I built it on top of this, and then I was like, well, now that we have the hull built, I need to move it out from under it so I can see what the deck looks like. Wow. Oh. That thing's going to be a beast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's big, that's for sure. <laughs> so. Well, should we check out UV next? So you guys go. I'll keep building. Oh. <laughs> hey, we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> this is UV. Ah, that smell. Love it. So this is the uh, the printing magic. I priced one of these for the house and I laughed. <laughs> yeah, Liberator Crew? No. Or Sherman. I think that's Patton. That is Patton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely Patton. <laughs> it's shinier fresh off the off the printer. Every time I open a kit, that's the first thing I crack open is the, the minifigure bag. Mm -hmm. Ah, All smells good. Stuff. <laughs> oh, look, there's his head. Still waiting to receive the face. Awesome. Crazy. Yeah, so it's defended by an almighty Nerf gun. You know, Sweet. in case somebody wants to come in for, for secrets. Every desk has a self-defense weapon. They're, they're pretty Man, much we didn't bring ours. I didn't know we were going to have a war. Yeah, well, 
Well, we Pat. have them for sale in the store. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, you'll, hear, you'll hear a clock chime and suddenly everyone yeah, in the everybody drops down. down. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this sounds like a fun place to work. <laughs> Sign me up. Uh, we don't so. we don't get many complaints, that's for sure. Hi. You must be George. I'm George. Amanda, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Amanda. I, I'm fairly MN Art Girl on Instagram. I figured as much. <laughs> you do awesome work. Thank you. I appreciate it. We try hard. I'm really excited for when you guys can like up capacity and start selling stuff individually. So you know, we're all rooting for you. Yeah. <laughs> so exciting with those That's new rigs, one. though. That's it's crazy. Worn in crusher cap. Worn in the crusher Warning. cap. Oh boy! So not only do we have an infinite number of different headwear to create from across the ages of military, now we have to but have then once you've created the pristine worn. version, <laughs> there's the worn out version. The nice. worn, the torn. Yes. Yep. Yep. Is that the the discard pile? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> or Lando's randos. Test prints, right, exactly. Yeah. It's exactly what happens. People people love that stuff. Heck, well, just well, in the last four years, I've been following you guys have made a brain? giant leaps and bounds. Yep, so this is, we'll be able to make molds in this, that. inject yeah. here. But it, it's kind of like the, the, the rate that the advancement in 3D printing technology yeah. is going to make all that obsolete. Mm -hmm. so. Awesome. We're yeah, looking it's pretty at, crazy to see how far it's come even in the short amount of time we've been involved. Yeah. Right. We're looking at next level stuff already, but we have, we're drooling over the next generation. Watch your step. Uh, this, this, this place is full of pitfalls and hazards. Slam! Oh, hey. <laughs> nice to meet you, George. Nice to meet you. Hey. Hello, everybody else. Um, long time. <laughs> right. Never met. I know. Hey. Pretty awesome. What are you working on here, bud? Uh, I'm working on this Focke-Wolf 189. Coming up in a few weeks. Yeah, just a July release. Brandon's in charge of it. It's got camo, twin engine, split tail bomber. Ooh. You know, very German. Scout, scout bomber. I just spent the last, or not, it's not a bomber, it's a, it's a scout plane. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I just dove down a rabbit hole of trying to pick a squadron uh, yeah. unit logo. I'm like, okay, I've never gone into a reconnaissance unit logos before and who they are and what they flew. And kind of one of those overlooked areas. So, I found <laughs> which some means that ones. which means that research material is like, a little scarce. scarce. I really yeah. want to do this bird right here with the shoes. Oh, that's interesting. But like, because I found it in a film, <laughs> and it's just goofy, so it's totally up my sense of humor. I don't know the penguin with the clogs is pretty awesome. I know, right? That's done in MS Paint or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't find evidence of this one. I found evidence of this one, but couldn't find accurate colors. I don't think that reference photos. Anyway, so this is what I did. Right. Awesome. Anyway, so this is what, <laughs> what I, I do. do. A modicum of research, right? Yeah. Right. Hey, that's but all part of it. You got 30 minutes to find the most accurate, <laughs> widely used. Right. Yeah. Like. And they need it to be in on the print in the box. Yeah. Tomorrow. Gotta go. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say I think it's cool that we got people who know each other over Instagram meeting right? in person for the first time. <laughs> George, I really love to see you. Oh, I, I mean, dude, Dan sent me the proof of what the printing was going to be. I'm like, no way. Right? That's a lot of print. It's a lot so, of, it's, it's one of the biggest area we've ever oh, yeah. freaking, well, so, I can make bigger. And it's so, and it's so great. <laughs> it's so graphic. Love it. It turned out so beautifully. Yeah. And there are so many other of that same helicopter with different livery. That oh. was just even more striking, like red noses. And yeah. Red I've well, had, the, uh, the light gray version will be in a whole new challenge. So. I've had a lot of requests for uh, the British sea rescue in bright yellow i'm like yeah yeah that'd be right. cool but i don't i don't know i'd have to look at the parts like what's so, your yellow collection look like uh fast, right? my yellow yellow's, collection yellow's pretty complete it, yeah say so there's quite nobody a has any of it because we wouldn't use it for it. yeah <laughs> so but, building uh, cranes or something and then the <laughs> apollo helicopter the 66 which was what i originally started designing and then dan and i started talking that's been a popular request too so I still have some. I think the bridge still might have a few. Canada might still be using some. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't, awesome. wasn't the C RAM, I guess. It was just the thing. Ah, oh, still. That's mm -hmm. awesome. This is that, 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 the other thing that guy dropped off. You got your own little test printer here, huh? Yeah. It was, As of this week, yeah. Ah, sweet. Yeah. Got it, got it tuned in yesterday. So the idea being that we'll be able to do, pro, when we go to do the, the, the pre-sale videos, yeah, we'll actually be able to have mm -hmm. at least sample parts sure. printed up for I priced the UV printer. Yeah, this, There's a reason why uh, the they cost what they cost. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an investment. A friend of ours does it and he says, instead of me printing stuff for you, how about I just sell you my whole lot and you just print stuff for me? I'm like, 
that sounds like work. Yeah, <laughs> that's why he's trying to get rid of I, it. I understand why you charge what you charge now. We yeah. need a third guy to sell this Right? Yeah. yeah. So this, this is number 10 of this, this thing. Yeah. This was my, this is where the, yeah. the, the original videos were done. So this yeah, was my I office, that. I had a double size office and I gave it up so the video guys could, the video team, but this is me now, so this is the banner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he set that thing up and I was like, we are gonna feature that in every design check <laughs> we do from now until the end of time. It's to keep the sun out of my eyes at, at, at five o'clock. Oh, I bet. It, it's, I, I get it directly. Plus it makes a beer taste better. Man, that old timber. Yeah, this was all, they, we sandblasted all this. It was the walls, everything in here. The only thing we didn't sandblast was the, the, the metal. Too Look, expensive. Looking at a half a million dollars worth of lumber right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, lumber is ridiculous. Oh, it's crazy. That's what I hope you guys have something figured out for the making already for transporting. Um, I think we may just throw it in the back of the van. Yeah. Just <laughs> like, liter cheaper. literally like, well, it's strong enough. It'll, yeah. it'll survive. Yeah, probably cheaper. I know we built all that tabletop for in my studio and that should only been like a hundred and fifty dollar project wound up being almost eight hundred dollars for the bookcase hit and a couple other things so it was oof. yeah there's no hurry we'll, we'll be able to transport that thing yeah. just we'll throw some carpet padding on the floor so it ah, doesn't slide around. there you go so, we'll do our best we'll see i just got to make sure it fits and as you can see we got the brainstorming materials ready to I go see for, for medieval bricks here so some some serious gems out of, out of dan's old collection that is no kidding They've, they've come out here. This One is pretty ridiculous. When you original instruction CDs popped up on eBay a while back, and I think it wound up going for like thirty or forty dollars by the time it was all said and done. Oh. I bid on it up to about twenty-five. I'm like, ah, no. surely he'll release those instructions again. Yeah, they'll be better. Tank? Actually, those yeah. those are really low res by comparison. Dude, that castle there is Isn't that fantastic. <laughs> I'm not a huge castle fan, but just That's the sheer size the outside, of that thing. See the kilts. Brick built kilt. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I knocked something over. Mary, have you met George yet? I don't think you have. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. Appreciate you helping out on the Seagram. Yeah. That, that thing turned out pretty awesome. That was a fun build. Was... Well, I got a few more things coming, so I don't know who's going to be doing what, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet either. We have. Right. <laughs> we haven't decided. We basically, it's once a month, we, we assign everybody their. Well, that's okay. So you kind of rotate on different projects and stuff. That's pretty awesome. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So these are going to be kids, huh? They will be. Yeah. yeah. So this, but there, <laughs> it's not. This, this is the, <laughs> this is the, the, the barracks, mm -hmm. and that's only, that's only a, a quarter of it. So that's that's three of the the twelve sections Jeez. put together. The wall. This is the kit. This you have to find your own parts for. Ah. Well. But of course, you still have to make the whole. Heck yeah. Go oh, yeah. all the way around. Be Rather that, impressive layout. That's the headquarters, and then we have one more building, and then we're gonna hopefully we'll call it a, we'll call it a day and see if anybody actually buys them. So it's been a while since we've released a castle yeah, or anything like this. Yeah, this was kind of one of those things where it's like, hmm, the Romans won. Guess we'll do a fort, and then everyone came to work the next day, and Dan was like, look. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what the? Where did that come from? I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> that's just crazy. That's that's the little guy. Just wait till it's done. <laughs> Set it on the making fly deck. <laughs> yeah. Well, this will be big enough to go around the making. Put the That's ridiculous. Jeez. So we'll just keep building sections. A lot of tan bricks. I mean, it's only, it's all modular. <laughs> yeah. just I think it goes light bluish gray, tan, dark bluish gray. You can't, get, you can't get any simpler than that. Oh, yeah. So it looks pretty, pretty modular. That's something I need to learn to do with my larger builds is modularity. You expand them over time. Yeah. Or make them easier to transport. <laughs> that's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Make them strong. That's all it matters. <laughs> that's what I focus on. So, <laughs> so it's awful. Everyone is full of tackle boxes. All the way. the same system for each color. That's awesome. There's actually two collections. There's one on this side, and on the other side <laughs> is a duplicate. So, one person can take their parts to their yeah. desk, and yep, there's another. There's another one. So all the way down. I just use acro mills. <laughs> a few. Yeah, we have those too, but we use them for brick arms. <laughs> <laughs> so, tan is all over at my desk. Red, I and mean, it's awesome. It, yeah, they Plano loves us. 
So that's it. You've seen the, the, the nickel tour. There's more, but there's not, there's not really much to see. We have all these rooms else. Mm -hmm. We have another room upstairs. Where you, it's like we call it the attic. Yeah, just, pretty much all empty stuff. at this point. <laughs> We're going to be expanding. This room was designed for having seven people yeah. or seven cubicles built. We never imagined that we would ever need any more than that. It's like, um, pick, which is more ridiculous. So everything was in your production. Everything happened in here. Wow. Those, the train club was mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. That middle room was storage. And uh, we eventually, we told the train club at some point, you're probably gonna have to move yeah. out because we're gonna expand into here. And now we have 13 people in this room and we're gonna get the upstairs. We're aim aiming to get the second floor yeah. of that main building, which was once a huge, uh, it was like a drafting room hmm. for all the, all, the, all the plans for whatever they were building were all drawn yeah. up up there. And we're gonna return it back to its former state. So we'll knock down all the awesome. walls that have been put in there. But that's like a long-term plan. Then we can, all of us will move up there. Yeah. Printing will move into here. 3D printing will probably be out there. So that's the long-term plan. All right, so that'll complete the tour. George Shakes in town. We're gonna do some building on the making, and uh, thanks for watching.